Hi, this is Das and today I'll be showing you how did I create my latest Moody travel video. So let's get started. I shot this video with my FX30 with SLOG3 picture profile and SGamer3.cine as my color space. In the Vinci Resolve, I already have some few clips selected and I'm going to demonstrate how did I my color grade. So let's see the settings first. In my color management settings, uh, my color science is set to DaVinci YRGB and my playing color space is selected to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4 and my 3D lookup table interpolation is set to Tetrahedral. To grade this video, I actually used two very popular LUT packs that you probably heard. One is the Phantom LUTs. This LUT can actually emulate a Ari Alexa look on your Sony footage. And the second LUT that I'm going to use that is the Triangle Colors Flame Stock. This LUT pack contains the look of many popular flames as you can see here and we are going to use it to build our creative look so in the result let's go to the color page and in our first clip it is already in slop 3 so we have to change it to vex 709 so the phantom that's going to do it for us so let's create a few notes i'm going to select the note file and rename it as the phantom LUT. and the next node as the creative so let's add the phantom LUTs to this node i'm going to select the neutral sms3 legacy LUT for this node for our creative look i'm going to select the the curious case of benjamin film stock and i'm going to select the product vision 250d only color look for this node as you can see our footage is already looking good but we still need to make a lot of adjustment for it so let's go to the first node and let's call it the noise reduction let's go to the noise reduction panel and first let's zoom in and you can as you can see there are a little bit of noise in our footage so in our noise reduction panel first in the temporal inner i'm going to select the frame as three and in the under the temporal threshold i'm going to play around with these settings until it looks good and under a spatial threshold I'm going to unlink this to now our footage is looking pretty much clean so let's go to the second node and I'm going to call it exposure then I'm going to go to the HDR wheels and I'm going to play around with the global exposure settings Then I'm going to go to my primaries and I'm going to again adjust my gamma and gain. Then I'm going to go to the lock wheel and then again I'm going to adjust the midtones and the highlights. Once we have done, I'm going to go to the next node and let's call it white balance. Now, I'm going to make it a little bit cooler, but for this footage, I'm going to pick up a white spot in my video. So, it already did the work for me. And I'm happy with the white balance for this video. Next, for the next node, I'm going to call it saturation. And for this saturation, you can either crank it up the saturation from here or you can also go to the RGB mixer and also use this but I'm going to do it a little bit of different I'm going to right click and I'm going to select my color space to HSV and I'm going to uncheck channel 1 and channel 3 then I'm going to come to my primaries and I'm going to adjust my drain and as you can see, it actually adds some, like, some saturation in the footage. When I'm happy with my saturation, I'm going to create a next new node and I'm going to call it curve. And then I'm going to add a S curve to this. I'm going to add a little bit of fade in my shadows and I'm going to mute my highlights. Again, I'm going to adjust 
the curve according to my test. Make sure our footage looks all okay. So our footage is looking a little bit of dark, so let's adjust it. And I'm quite happy with the result. So now let's do something about the sky. So after my curve, I'm going to add a new node and let's, I'm going to call it the sky. I'm going to the windows and I'm going to draw a rough marks around the sky. Then I'm going to the tracker and I'm going to track it. Once the tracking is done, let's go back to the windows and let's add some feather. Now, let's go to our primaries and let's darken our sky to bring out some more details from the sky. As you can see, we actually managed to get some details out of our sky. Let's go to the before and after. Now, I don't literally like the way it's actually darkened our trees here. So I'm going to adjust the feather. And I'm happy with the look. Now let's add some sharpness to our footage because we already add some noise reduction and it actually softened our footage quite a bit. So let's go to the sharpen and under radius we're going to add a little bit of sharpness, not too much but little bit of. So it's looking good. Now you optionally you can apply film grain to it but I'm going to leave it as it is. and. In our final touch, I'm going to add some vignette. Change the operating mode to basic from advanced and adjust the parameters. And we are done. This is before and this is after. And it's looking pretty good. Let's grab a still. The still is going to act as our preset. So on to our next clip, let's right click and apply grid. And as you can see, it is looking a little bit of dark, but we can fix that. We don't need the sky node here, so I'm going to delete it. And it is looking pretty good. Let's apply it. It is looking a little bit of warm, so I'm going to pull it down. And it is looking dark, so I'm going to brighten it up. And again, I'm, I don't need the sky node here. So I'm going to delete it. Now let's go to our next clip. Again, I don't need the sky node here. And I'm going to brighten up our footage. Now we need to work on the skin tone here. So I'm going to turn on my vectorscope. In the vectorscope setting, I'm going to turn on the Tinton indicator and also I'm going to add 2x zoom. Now as you can see our skin tone is actually pretty much far away from the line so let's fix it. After the creative tab I'm going to add a new node and I'm going to call it the skin. 
then i'm going to select our skin color by using the qualifier and let's click on it and turn on the marks then we're going to adjust it and add a lot of feather Then I'm going to go to the windows and draw a rough marks around our subject. Then I'm going to feather it out. And I'm going to track it. Now we will look at the vectorscope. The skin tone is pretty much far away from the line. So I'm going to grab the hue slider and push it towards the line and that's it now I don't like this portion here because it is too bright and it's pretty much distracting so after the skin tones I'm going to add a new node and I'm going to call it the window let's go to the window section and add a rough marks here Now let's feather it out. We go to the curves and we're going to lower the brightness. Now the first portion is done, then I'm going to add a new mode and I'm going to adjust the brightness of this part here. We're going to again adjust the sky here so let's reset the node grid and again i'm going to add a power window here and i'm going to select the last one the gradient one i'm gonna bring out some more details from the sky here our overall footage is looking a little bit of darker but i'm going to fix it so i'm going to add a new node in our new node i'm going to do the same thing but this time it's completely opposite So that's it. If you enjoy this breakdown then feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you on our next video.